going on around the web right now, everything going on on social media, how does it feel to be a six foot four black man walking around America right now? Um. Hmm. You know, I just got to con control what I can control, just live my life and just be uh, an example to those around me, like the, the, the young community, just be, show them the right ways and just pray that everything is going to be okay every day. This will be our show for one more chance. Hey, Darius, uh, now you've had some time to, more time to work on the field with Coach Atkins. Um, how has that gone? Uh, what do you like about what he's brought to the offensive line and, and how do you feel like you guys are doing as a group so far? Uh, Co working with Coach Atkins, it's, it's been fun. He's teaching the whole unit a lot of things. So he's bringing us together, just really working on our techniques and bringing that aggression back to the offensive line. Like, if if you look at us now, it's going to – like, we're, we're doing better, just trying to absorb all the teaching we can and just be prepared for the season. Uh, as an organization, because um, most of our team is African American, so it, it kind of brings like comfort to us as a whole. Because to know that the head man over this organization is looking out for us, it just brings peace in us, like to want to fight more. Hey, Darius, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Hey, what ask you? Obviously, last year as a freshman, you got you got thrown into the fire a little bit. And uh, what's this offseason been like different for you now that you got that under your belt, and you know you're going to go in and play quite a bit this season? Uh, the offseason, I just kept my nose down and just work and work and work. Uh, especially during quarantine, when we had that time off, I just I stayed here, like I said and just train to get my body prepared for the long season that we're going to have because though it's, it's going to be take a toll on your body, so you got to make sure you're prepared for every week and every game. Uh, I, think, I think you were one of the guys that stayed in, in Tallahassee the whole time uh, to rehab. How, how, was that difficult to not be able to go home? And uh, you know, I know a lot of people were gone out of town. How, how challenging was that period of time when it was just you only a few guys still here, right? Uh, at first, I want to say it was kind of, it was kind of difficult because you just can't go home and see your family, especially during a pandemic and you're stuck here by yourself. But as time came along, like me and my family just came to agreement, like this is what you have to do if you say you want to be great. So. Uh, we can, like we have FaceTime now, so we can just FaceTime and, and see each other instead. But yeah, uh, it's it's it, it's always great to see them. But I I need I knew I needed to take care of business first to be able to provide for this university this season, like like I uh, like I'm supposed to. So. You don't have to give away any secrets, but has there been anything that Coach Atkins has, has taught you guys, I guess, just fundamentally or, or anything, just kind of hands-on that that's kind of stuck with you that you've been using, that you feel that has been a, a use and success for you and your guys on the line? Uh, hmm. It's just really bringing aggression out with us. That's mainly just fighting that, fighting that fight because – we just we want to be better than last year, so. We'll go back to Ira for more chance. Uh, Coach Norvell, Coach Norvell has been pretty complimentary of uh, some of the freshman offensive linemen, like Robert Scott and Thomas Schrader. And what uh, what have you seen out of those guys that, that uh, makes you believe they might be able to help this year? And Coach Norvell said he thinks they might be able to contribute as true freshmen. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of improvement in both in both of them. E even Lloyd Willis, uh, they're just improving, just trying to, 
you know, it's your first time in college. You, you're going through a pandemic, and you just got to get adjusted to the uh, your new surroundings. And I, I feel that they're all adjusting pretty well. Like the whole, like the whole team, offense line. We're just bringing open arms to them. So we're just trying to comfort them, just teach them the ways, and so they can be learn and sooner and later on teach the uh, next generation that comes in.